friends in this video we will we'll be discussing the body it is one of the mode of asexual reproduction you see here the par here the parent body which produces one or more buds okay each buds you see each bud that will grows into a young one the but that bud will lead to the individual life okay here you see exogenous body and endogenous body are two types of buds two, two types of bud formation okay here is exogenous body means what here the parent cell which produces the bud on its surface of the body it's called exogenous bud okay endogenous bud the buds which are formed inside the internal inside the parent body okay you see called uh, that is the uh, endogenous budding okay here we see exogenous budding hydra and spores see here in sponge if here the parent body on the surface of this it means on the surface of the body you see there is a ectodermal cells which produces a small elevation okay there is produces a small elevation okay the, the the elevation is called bud so that is called formation of bud okay you see next the bud after some times here the form here the formation of lumen lumen that lumen connected into the uh, spongiosil of the parent body okay you see next the construction takes place at its base construction takes place at its base of the of its bud then it will be detached from the parent body and leads into the individual life okay it is called exogenous budding next one more example you see for example hydra it is same trait here the parent body or ectodermal cell ectodermal cell ectodermal cells which produces small bud on its surface okay and start see next stage here that pan that that bud uh, of the lumen okay here is there is a lumen lumen in the bud that will connected into the uh, gastrovascular cavity of the parent body okay that is connected into the gastrovascular ca cavity of the parent body okay parent body see you know here first the formation is the ectodermal cells it is followed by some endodermal cells also pushing into it okay by this way the gastrovascular cavity also connect into the lumen of the bud okay all the sometimes this bud which develop the uh, tentacles okay one one mouth surrounded by tentacles okay after it will be uh, small with the construction at its base okay it will be detached detached from the parent body uh, then it leads to the individual life okay so this is the uh, exogenous budding Okay, what is mean by endogenous budding? That means what the formation of bud that is inside the parent body is called endogenous budding. Uh, that we will discuss with the help of diagram. Okay, see next the endogenous budding formation. For example, naughty look off, naughty look off. It is commonly called seed sparkling, which will, it is dinophage that lives in this seed. Here, more than hundred buds are formed inside the cytoplasm of the parent cell. The bud which 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 will not be separate, remain attached to the parent body. Next, you see uh, some freshwater marine sponges which undergo a special uh, peculiar mode of asexual reproduction is the internal bud formation, also called germinal formation. Okay, here you see the parent body inside uh, some internal buds are formed in the uh, spongiosin cavity. Okay, the buds the buds are also called gemules. Okay, here you see. Uh, such as this gemule. In, in general, you see when we talk about the gemule center, there is a mass of uh, cells, foot ladder archaeocytes are there, okay, which is surrounded by uh, internal mem inner membrane. Next to the inner membrane, there is a gelatinous material which is supported by the monoxon spicules. Monoxon spicules, okay, total whole bud which is covered by there is a outer membrane. On one side of the gemule, you see there is a micropylar end, okay, you see. Uh, when, when parent body, when parent body, uh, during unfavorable condition, the parent body will become uh, disintegrate. But you see the gemules which, which, with the gemule which uh, withstand even in adverse condition. Okay, when the favorable condition is returned, okay, uh, these gemules will begin to hatch. Okay, this archaeocyte you see inside the gemule, it, it is considered to be the uh, stem cells. Okay, it has the capacity to development, development of uh, any other kind of cell that you mean that may be uh, that may be gametes or tissue formation like that. Freshwater and marine sponges shows a peculiar mode of asexual reproduction is internal bud formation, also called gemules. 
when you talk about this extra of the gemules you see in center there is a food laden orthocytes which is covered by the inner membrane this protective inner membrane next inner membrane there is a, a gelatinous material which is supported by monoxan spicules the gelatin is covered by the outer membrane you see the orchocytes which communicate to the uh, micropylar end you see here this orchocytes which has the capacity to develop any, any other kind of cells any other kind of cells that means uh, formation of uh, gametes and this uh, tissue formation like that you see this uh, when when the when the parent body uh, during an unfavorable condition it will become disintegrated but you see uh, gemmules which can be withstand even in uh, adverse condition and, and become to hatch 